Hi everyone, welcome back to Children's Church. This month's theme is Upside Down. Jesus changes everything. When this midst of what everything feels like is upside down, just remember that Jesus stays the same no matter what, even though he completely changed our understanding of God. Let's go ahead and do our invocation for this morning. Okay, repeat after me. In the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Spirit, the three in one. Great job, everyone. As you remember, we are looking at our memory verse this month, which is Philippians 2, 3. So go ahead and put on your listening ears while I go ahead and read it. Don't do anything only to get ahead. Don't do it because you are proud. Instead, be humble. Value others more than yourselves. Isn't that crazy important to remember? We need to remember to value others more than we value what we think is important to us. Now with that, Miss Katie is going to lead us in a fun game. What do you have for us today, Miss Katie? Hey everybody, are you ready for today's game? Today we're gonna play a variation of The Floor is Lava. So real quick, get your parents and have them set up the room in an obstacle court, an obstacle court like way. Your goal is to start at your front door and get to your kitchen. All right, parents, use your judgment on how hard or easy to make it based on what you think your kids can do. My roommate set up the obstacle court for me, so let's see if I can do this. All right, we're gonna set the timer for a minute. Are you guys ready? Watch me first, and then you guys are welcome to play as many times as you want. Are you guys ready? Janae, set the timer. Ready? Ready. Set, go. <laughs> now you think they're slippery. <laughs> <laughs> singing I'll fly away so why don't you get on your feet and get ready to dance is everyone ready all right let's go
Thanks everyone. Now to Miss Katie for our story. Hey everybody. This week we're going to be learning about the road to Emmaus and how two of Jesus' disciples definitely got humbled by it. Normally when we do children's church, I have you guys act out the story. But this week I'm going to be acting out the story with the help of me, myself, and I. Come on, let's get started. Our story starts in Luke chapter 24, starting at verse 13. Jesus' disciples, two of them, after the events of Jesus' death and resurrection, took a journey to Emmaus, which is about seven miles from Jerusalem. As they went, they discussed all the things that had just happened and how the women in their group had told them that Jesus had risen from the dead. The body was gone and the tomb was empty. They weren't sure what to believe. Can you believe what happened this week? I know, it was crazy, right? As they were walking and talking, Jesus came and joined them, but they were kept from recognizing him. Hey, what are you guys talking about? Are you kidding me? Where have you been this week? Under a rock? Have you not heard of everything that's happened with Jesus of Nazareth? Yeah, haven't you heard? Jesus of Nazareth came into the Jerusalem last week and everyone believed he was to be the Messiah to redeem Israel. We especially had hoped that he was, but then the high priest crucified him. But even more than that, three days later, later, the women in our group told us when they went to the tomb that the tomb was empty and that an angel came and told them that he had risen. You silly heads, haven't you heard of what the scripture said about the Christ? That he had to suffer and die for the sins of the world, but that God would raise him from the dead on the third day. As they got closer to the town, they urged the man, who was really Jesus, to stay with them and to share a meal. As they gathered for dinner that night, Jesus broke the bread and gave thanks. When Jesus did that, their eyes were open and they saw it was really Jesus. <gasps> Jesus! <gasps> no way, Jesus! Once they recognized Jesus, Jesus vanished. The Lord had risen. This was an amazing thing that they didn't think could happen, but God did it. God raised Jesus from the dead. Now let's go take a look at our bottom line. Let's take a look at our bottom line together. There's always more to discover about God's plan. That's definitely true in today's story. The disciples thought it was over after Jesus died on the cross, but God had so much more to show them. And God still has so much more he wants to show us. Let's keep that in mind that even during the darkest times in our life, God is still teaching us. Even during this pandemic, God is still teaching us. And all he asks us to do is to put our trust in him and show a little humility. Thanks, Miss Katie. What an awesome story. And doesn't she tell it really well? Well, our theme this month has been humility. And humility is putting others first by giving up what you think you deserve. The most incredible act of humility that we can see through the Bible is Jesus' act on the cross as he took our sins away, even though he did not deserve it. So we need to act humbly. We need to walk through our lives as if we don't deserve anything, but giving that up. Can we go ahead and fold our hands and bow our heads and pray with us today to finish out? All right. Dear Jesus, Thank you so much for your sacrifice on the cross. And we thank you so much that you give us the strength to be humble in all that we do. We love you and it's in your name we pray, amen. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this version of Children's Church and we hope to see you again next week. Bye everyone.